How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here and this is basically my bucket list. Uh, I've been working on it over the past years, man, uh, thinking, you know, what am I going to do? What do I want to do in life of things, you know, that I want to do before I die? I want to do these things, you know, and this is all 100% real. I'm not trolling. I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm not making up these things. This is literally my bucket list. This is what I want to do before I die. This is what I want to accomplish. This is what I want. I want to, you know, I want to do these things. Or these are also some of my goals. So it's bucket list slash goals, but mainly bucket list. So before disclaimer and all that, before I go into the bucket list, I don't want people to change their ways of me or see me different. I'm still the person who does TV. I love. I'm a big fanatic of madness of TV shows and movies. I'm still that person. That's my character, Big D80091, too. Or used to be Big D80091. Daniel Rodriguez, that's... I, as a person I am, I love entertainment, man. I love Marvel. I love superheroes. I love drama. I love old movies. I love old things. I love writing movies. I, love, I do that. things. Those are my things. That's my field, man. But there's also a darkness to the side. There's also a real-life world out there. This is just YouTube my life you don't see behind you know around you only see the camera you only see what's on the camera you don't see once I get out of the view you don't see what it is you don't see what happens so you only see the person that reviews and that's part of my life that'll always be part of my life that's just the thing I love to do that's what I want to do in life part of my life Anyway, here's the bucket list. So the things I say in here, don't, you know, don't, they are real things, but don't be like, oh, God, you know what, fuck this guy, you know, whatever, you know, this, I'm still a, the person that reviews, I'm still, just hear me out, bear with me, okay, here we go, bucket list, man, first off, and I, uh, I get a message. <laughs> uh, shout out to Dylan Brown. Anyway, I want to make a short film. That's my first bucket list. I want to make a short film uh, of uh, just anything. I want to actually premiere it into a theater. Uh, I want people to see it, whether they like it or hate it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, whatever happens, happens, man. But I do want to make a short film. I want to direct it. I want to write it. I want to produce it. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to actually put money into it. I want people to put money into it. I don't know. I don't really want to put money into it, but I guess. You know, one day, one day, I want to make a short film before I die. I want to write a superhero movie, a superhero script. I want to actually write a full-on superhero script for Batman or just it may never be see the, the the anyone but I want to write a full on script before I die like a full on masterpiece of a movie man and that's just a thing on my bucket list I do this is a goal on bucket list I do want to party like Jim Morrison Lane Staley Kurt Cobain and Scott Weiland uh, without all the drugs I you know I can't do cocaine because I have a weak heart now, if I didn't have a weak heart, sadly I have a weak heart, can't do cocaine. Uh, I said, P.S., note to self, don't do heroin because I hate needles. I hate needles. I, 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 I already got, you know, tattoo and everything, and that what didn't hurt. It just was vibrated so much and burned my, you know, burned. But I can't inject needles like shots. If, if it wasn't a needle, me, I mean, but heroin, you know... I don't like needles, like injection sort of thing. So I, I, you know, don't do heroin, future self, if you end up doing it. Um, I thought you said you didn't like needles, so, yeah. Uh, also, this is a main thing I always wanted to do, man. I've always wanted to do this since I was a little kid, you know, young, uh, growing up, man. I've always been fascinated with this, man. I, and this is something I not just want to direct movies. I do want to direct pornography. I want to direct porn. I want to do the porn business. I don't want to be the man with a woman. I don't want. I don't want to be interacting. I, I just want to hold the camera and film. That's what I want to do. I want to watch. I want to just be there, hold the camera. And I know what you're thinking. Like you wouldn't want, you want to watch. 
I have no desire for sex. I don't care. I don't need to have. I can watch it or else that's it. I mean, I'm fine. I don't need. I don't need a woman, to, you know, to hold or anything. That's fine. I have porn. So direct porn, man. Uh, for a portion of my life, and specifically BDSM, I want to whips, chains, all that, tying up gags. I want to work with that sort of style. This is way before. This is way before Fifty Shades of Grey even was a book, was even a thought. Before Twilight, this was before Twilight. The whole BDSM thing for me, man. I I, I enjoy, you know, the porn business a lot, man. James Dean. I mean, I, I wrote down all my favorite stars right now. Uh, also, my next thing or. Where is it? I want to meet porn stars Julia Ann, Lisa Ann, Charlie Chase, Remy LaCroix, Chastity Lynn, James Dean, Sarah Love, Sophie D, Dana Derman, uh, Asa Akura, Jinx Maze, Voodoo, Skin Diamond, Bridget B, a bunch of others I didn't mention, but one of them will do. If I could meet any one of my favorite porn stars, those would be it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm not new to the porn world. Children, please. I've been around the world for a long... I remember Remy's, Remy LaCroix's first video, dude. She's been in porn for long t No, not a long time, but a few years now, man. I remember her first video. I've seen her grow up, man. I've seen Jinx Mays grow up from that little, you know, 20-year-old, you know. I mean, I've seen, I've seen them grow, and it's beautiful to see them grow and see them, you know, transcend into a very popular... Uh, role model in the porn business, so and I've seen James Dean ever since he was very young, man. What was it, 2000, 2006, 2005, man? I've, yeah, he's been around for a while, dude. Very, very, yeah. James Dean's really nice, man. I really like him, so that stuff too. Uh, I want to play a prank on a cop before I die one day. I want to play a prank on a cop, and I'll, when I have a mug shot, whenever I get arrested, I want to smile in my mug shot. I really do. I want to have a mug shot and smile in it. That's a thing before I die. Uh, I want to grow a hobo beard and dress like a hobo at places. Like, just regularly lazy hobo. Like, not look like a hobo, but I want to have the hobo beard and be, like, all, like, lice Not lice, not lice in it, but, like, all dirty beard. Don't clean it or anything. Like, unshaven. Like, very, like, uneven. I want to do that in a portion of my life. Uh, I want to cause chaos with friends and run away from cops. I want to do that too. I want to have fun. I want to have anarchy every now and then. I want to cause a little chaos where people are calling the cops and you run away from them. That would be a fun thing too uh, in life. Uh, I want to own a cat. I'd like to own a cat, honestly. I've only owned a bunny in my life. I've owned hermit crabs. I've owned fish. I've owned a hamster. I want to own a cat. My mom and grandma don't let me allow me to have a cat, but I want a cat. So, uh, I already have one tattoo, but I want to make a superhero sleeve on my right arm. Uh, and anything could go on my left arm, I don't care. You know, as long as it's not a penis, it could, it could be a pussy, I don't care. It could be a woman with big tits, I don't care. As long as this arm is saved, well, the superhero sleeve. Uh, so that's one of them. I want to meet Ben Affleck and meet, meet Ben Affleck and hang out with him for like three hours. So that's a thing before I die. Uh, I want to smoke with Casey Affleck. Uh, that's really a thing. I want to smoke with Casey Affleck. I want to get a tattoo that's so stupid just cause, like fuck the police or hi. You know, uh, I, I really do. Not somewhere on my. I never get a tattoo on your face. Never, 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 never. never. Uh, and maybe never on my throat either, but just, I want to get it, like, right here, like, fuck the police or something, because I don't like police. Um, if you're a police person or you know someone who's police, I don't hate the, I'm not like, ah, you know, die, I'm not like that, but I just don't like police, because there was this thing with this girl, uh, a year ago or so. It's gonna be a year already, and the police involved, and I, it's... And then ever since then, you go to the mall and police, like, what are you doing here? It's like, I'm just sitting around. And then it's like, you know, like, police always question me. Everywhere I go, I, I don't do anything. I just sit down and police come and, like, just because, you know, you look like you're a 15, 14-year-old. I'm 18. Uh, you know, I'm still a kid. Yeah, teen. You know, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But they're just questioning. It's like, not every teenager is a bad person. Not, we're not, I'm not, do I look like I'm a stealer? Do I look like I'm skipping school, sir? Jesus Christ, these people, man. Literally, they were going to ask because they have nothing else better to do. How about you go home and be with your family or something than just be freaking a cop? All right? I always hate... And, God, there's this thing. I don't like when people are... I don't like when 20-year-olds are responsible. Responsibility. Responsibility. I will tell you right now, I will never live a life where I have responsibilities, where I have 
things to do. I will never, ever be a sheep and do that. I will not be like, oh, your responsibilities. Hmm, and now I have to go to the dentist and all that. No, fuck my teeth. They go away, they, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, gotta go do this. Got, oh, I'm, uh, I'm coughing, gotta go to the doctor. I ain't gonna pay that doctor bill. Not me. So, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, go to Vegas only for strip clubs and AVN porn convention. That's another thing. I want to go and go to strip clubs. I want to be there. Uh, escorts maybe uh, with friends. I want to actually be with prostitutes and my friends and party. Uh, no drugs. No druggies. Um, I mean, they could be druggies. I'm fine. Now. I'm like, if my wife, if I ever had a wife, but if she did heroin or something, it's not like I would be like, honey, stop doing it. She want to do it, she do it, man. It's her life. She can do whatever she wants, man. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, so, you should go to Vegas only for strip clubs and AVM. Uh, I want to try to live to 30. I want to try to make it to 30 years old. I'm 18 currently. I don't, I'm not like, you have a long life ahead of you. <sighs> not everybody wants to live a long time. I don't want to live a long time. Why, are you depressed? No, I'm not depressed. I just want to live a long time. You think America's really going to live forever? You think we're going to stand here forever? You think it's you think the world's going to be here in 25 years? The world's coming to a close, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you believe the apocalypse or the Bible or anything, sooner or later we're going to be blowing ourselves up. The world, the World War 3, everything's going to go be going down. So you really think that one person matters if I die if I make it to 30 or die at 35? Who cares? People need to start dying, man. I mean, not like Americans, but I mean just people because we need to get people off this world, dude. Seriously. Uh, too many people in this world already, dude. So cut them up, man. Not cut them up like cut them up with a knife or anything. I mean, like, give me a die. So uh, I don't want to try to own a house or apartment. That's one of my goals. I do not want to own a house. I do not want to own an apartment. I do not want to own any sort of shelter at all. I just want to live with someone. So if I live with anybody, that'd be nice. Um... Yeah. Uh, don't live to 35. Cut the plug there. <laughs> I wrote that on my fucking list. Don't live to 35. Cut the plug there. Uh, also, I would like to look very down and depressed towards the end of my life like Scott Weiland with a beard and can't sing and blame it on ear monitors for real. Um, this is not nothing bad towards Scott Weiland, man. God bless Scott Weiland. He's f just... Everything about Scott Weiland amazing, but... That was sort of like a ha-ha thing, but it is a real thing. I do, towards the end of my life, Scott Weiland had it all, man. He's a drug addict, you know, he was, but, you know, he had a good voice and everything, but at the end, you know, he was like, like, his voice, you know, it was already, like, he can't sing. He was, uh, you know, he's already on drugs again. He was back on, and he, it was the end of his life already. You could tell, he, and it's only 48 years old, you could tell his life was already spiraling out. There was no help for the guy. That's the way, and he had a beard and everything. Like, uh, just he looked very, you know, old for a forty-eight-year-old. So that's the way I want to look at the end of my life. And be, you know, just like, you know, I, you know, in interviews he was just like that, you know, and all that. He, 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 he always was just like one eye open. Like he always had his eyes open. He never blinked. I want to be like that. I want to have that sort of like end of life sort of thing. Um. Uh, where, where are we at now? Where are we at now? Okay, go to strip clubs with friends and also be with friends uh, with escorts. I already said that. Um, hopefully never find a girl or a relationship. I save money that way. I'm doing myself a favor. Also not, uh, also not pay a prostitute and drive off would be fun. Like, you know, oh, but you have to pay prostitutes first, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, God. You have to pay prostitutes first. I totally just realized that. Unless one is like, hey, I want to do that. Like, hey, baby, and all that. And then just, like, get in or something. And then I'm just like, joke, joke, something, something, get out and drive off. Maybe run over their feet. I don't know. Something like that. But something funny. I want to do that before I die. Uh, never use condoms ever. Laugh if gets STDs. <laughs> That's <laughs> I wrote that. I, I never want to use... Um, if ever I have sexual encounters, I don't want to use condoms because it's my life. And if I catch an STD, I don't plan on living forever, okay? So if I die, I die, you know, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, 
STDs, you know, whatever. Because I'm always in class and they're like, STDs, blah, blah, blah. Here, watch a video. Oh, me and my boyfriend, we had to, you know, and the whole, like, teenage, like, oh, you know, recreate the scene and everything, all that bad acting and everything. And I'm thinking... And, and every time, I remember I was in uh, the end of middle school, they showed photos, like, of, uh, like, STDs on the penis and everything and all that, and everyone was like, ew, and I'm just kind of sitting there just like, are you, it's okay, it, yeah, warts and everything, though, it burns, it hurts, yes, you're in pain, you're it, definitely not a good thing to have, no, 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 sir, you don't want to publicize that, but, all right, it's to calm down. It's not the worst thing in the world to have. You could be have your two arms cut off. That's more worse than having an STD. Like, I mean, seriously, it's it's uh, everyone's like, ew. It's not that gross. It's a pain with warts on it. All right, calm down, calm down. Ah, I'm in pain right now. So, um, yeah, never use condoms ever. Um, well, I guess if I have an escort, I'm gonna have to use a condom. Didn't think it through, really, guys. Didn't really think it through. Uh, be childish and a kid till the last breath. Uh, never take responsibility. Uh, my bucket list. Life is short, so do what you want. My goal is to stay as live as long as DC and Marvel um, put out great content and Walking Dead stays on the air. That's true. I wrote that on uh, my Facebook last night. Uh, the good die young. So if I die young, I'm good. And the good die young, man. Um, if I find a woman, find a woman who smokes cigarettes as well. Ash mouth. Yes, I want that. Uh, I do. So, if woman, if I, you know, I, if I find it attractive, man. Really so bad, man. I love girls with bangs. It's just my weakness, man. Um, thinking back to the girl, back then, but anyway. Um, what was I saying? I love it when I see a woman my age, 17, you know, she's not 17, 16, 15, 18, you know, when I was around that age, when I was 15 and there was a 16, I remember seeing, that, you know, at my, uh, in high school, when I just first got to high school, man, and seeing, you know, them smoking cigarettes and I was like, oh, finally a girl who's not like weed, 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 she's just doing cigarettes and I was thinking to myself like, this is my, this is the woman, this, I'm not like that woman, but I'm saying this is the type of woman, like, you know, drink alcohol all the time, alcohol, you know, alcoholic, smoking, I'm just like, I want a woman like that, I want that type of woman, man, I like that a lot, um, but, you know, whatever, so, if I find a girl, if, if, I want a woman to smoke cigarettes, as me, uh, I just bought a pack literally an hour ago, menthol, actually, I there's a, uh, and yeah, look at the, this is a quote from me, look at the negatives and make them a positive while they're still a negative. Think about that. Look at the negatives, make them a positive while they're still a negative. Think about that. That's a quote from me. Uh, guys, live life the way you want. It's your body, your mind, your soul. People who talk shit to you will never understand because they're not you. My reality is just different than yours, okay? We all go out on our own terms. Well, except God could kill you any moment he wants. I mean, that's also true, God, you know. But we all go out on our own terms just to sound more badass. We all go out on our own time, yeah. Whatever you want to say. Uh, other than that, that's my uh, that's that's my uh, bucket list, man. That's that, I'm, that was all. I'm not trolling. I'm not like ha, troll, 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 troll. I'm being honest. That's really the bucket list. So you could comment down below. You could tell me what you think. You could you know, don't live that sort of life, bro. Yeah, I'm young. I'm gonna regret a bunch of these things. Oh, I'm already. I you know I before I got this tattoo seven months before I was already regretting it seven months before, but I did it. So I could laugh at it ten years later. <laughs> I did it that way, so I could laugh and regret it way later on. I regretted it even when I was getting it before. I just said no. I paid eighty bucks for that tattoo. Because why not? Life is short. When I'm dead, why would I care? I'd be dead and happy. So yeah. That's it guys. Uh 
basically that's about it man that's my bucket list thank you so much for listening hope it didn't change my views on anything like you're like what you like porn you enjoy porn what guy doesn't tell me that and terry cruz just released a video and everything how he was addicted to and all that i am not good you know i don't have a girlfriend i don't have a wife so i'm fine i can watch all the porn i want okay actually i have for 10 years so i could do Anyway, I thought the most funniest, funniest thing out of the bucket list was own a cat. I do want to own a cat so bad. And smoke with Casey Affleck. How awesome would that be, dude? Just like Casey Affleck, just like, hey man, like, you know how Casey Affleck's voice is, man. Like, it's not like raspy, but it's like, hey man, you, like, you know that, like, that soft voice there. You know, it's it's a very luscious voice, and I'm doing it really badly right now. But if you just hear Casey Affleck's voice, smoke with Casey Affleck and Jeff Goldblum. Oh, wow. That'd be nice. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Thanks again. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it if I, you know, grow in subscribers and everything, because I don't have no way of making money, and YouTube could be kind of a way, so... Please help me out. I need subscribers. <laughs> I need it. I need to get some money, guys. So help me out here, man. Really appreciate it. You want my dreams to come true? My bucket list. I need it. You know, I need the money. So I'm um, not asking for money. I'm not. You know, you can do whatever you want. But thanks again. Bye bye.